to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes I hope you're well and I'd like to ask you to lay down on your bed Get yourself comfortable. Of course, there may be the odd background sound, either on this recording or where you are. Although I am actually using an improved uh, microphone recording setup, so I've got a. I won't bore you with it, but it's a big old setup that I've got going. So it's sort of equipment that I've collected over a few years and I'm using a, a Rode microphone which should give a better quality sound than the mic that I was using before with the tablet. I'm now using the iPad. So that's more information than you probably ever wanted to hear, but there you go. So I'd like to say a thank you to those of you that sent me birthday wishes last Wednesday for my big 50 5 -0. Wow! So thank you for that. And uh, so it's been really good. So I'd like to get on with the recording. And as per usual, as you lay down on your bed, your body naturally relaxes and it's not because I'm saying it you know nothing that I'm saying is really affecting that it's just a natural thing to happen I'm just reminding you maybe focusing your attention on the fact that when you lie down on your bed you automatically start to relax and when your head touches the pillow your mind starts to slow down and these are things that just happen naturally and as you actually focus on the fact that your body is relaxing and your mind is slowing down you can just have that faith and trust that your body will continue to relax so that we can focus just on your mind because one of the things that many people have told me over the years is the major hurdle to falling asleep for some people, or for lots of people actually, is what they would call overthinking. Now, when you listen to me, when you listen to a recording that I do, there's, there's no thinking necessary. And 
is going to be two doors. So there's going to be one, and you can see the doors in front of you, in your mind. One says, <clears throat> save for later. And the other door has a sign on it that says, unimportant. So these two doors, one that says, save for later, and one that says, unimportant. Maybe you want to colour code the doors to remind you. Now the unimportant door is where any thought that comes into your mind that's completely irrelevant. Not just to this moment, but generally to your well-being. skating when you were 23 it's it might be a lovely memory but it's irrelevant it's not you know something that is necessary so you just let that go out the door the unimportant door it doesn't get rid of the thought forever it doesn't get rid of the memory the happy memory connected to that but it's not important in this moment so you can let that just you can, in fact you can push it through the door direct it bye bye it goes through the door and then it's gone out of your sight out of your mind now if you have a thought that is, well, any other thought really, even if it feels relevant. So you could be thinking about um, something about your bed, oh, the bed's uncomfortable, or the bed needs to be made, or I need to change the sheets, I need to wash the sheets, or... You know, if it's an important, important thing, then I would say maybe stop the recording and do it. So, you know, for example, if you've left the window open and it's really cold and it's windy, then maybe just get, you know, press the pause button, get up and close the window, maybe, if that's what you want to do. Outside of any anything that may be important for this moment. Another example would be maybe, oh, I left the dog outside in the garden. Maybe go and let the dog in. You know, those kinds of things that may not seem like hugely important, but may be very relevant. So, any other thought, which is going to be most of them, well, all of them really, other than the unimportant ones, you can just push through the save for later door. So it might be something really important to you, involving your children, something that you know isn't you would not class as unimportant irrelevant to this moment that you're going to sleep but because of the subject matter you might not want to use a word like irrelevant connected to a loved one says unimportant so you can let it go through the door 
save for later. Because anything that's really important will still be there when you wake up. It's not necessary while you lie on your bed, relaxing, your body really just melting into the bed. Safe for later. Don't 
those thoughts are pretty much wasting their time right now. And no one likes to waste their time. It's almost like educating or training your thoughts to realize that you are the boss. You are in control of your brain and your mind, not the other way around. You're the leader. You're in charge. something take over when it's you it's like me standing up and starting dancing and uh, moaning because I can't relax because I'm all just dancing all the time I'm choosing to do that nothing in the world can make me stand up and dance except myself so for me to blame the dancing for me not being able to sit down and relax you know I'll use that as a as an example for you know maybe meditating I'll try to meditate but I'll keep reading a book and it gets in the way you're choosing to read the book you're allowing yourself to do that or you can choose to put the book down and meditate if you wanted to of course which means you're taking control of something that has always been within your control you are not a slave to your thoughts and your thoughts are not in control of you they don't have the remote control over you you choose what happens in every second of every day you choose what you do next I know it doesn't seem that way, but you can choose what you do next. And if you choose to lie down on your bed, to feel completely comfortable, calm and relaxed, and you choose slow down and to take control of those thoughts putting them in the different doorways you know unimportant and safer for later eventually there'll no longer be a queue of thoughts waiting to audition for you because they'll realise that there's no way to win for them the best scenario is that we put into the waiting room you know save for later and none of them really want that because they know that if it's important they'll already be saved for later anyway that deep, deep relaxation 
Every number.